Greetings, pen pals. I have here a pen from a manufacturer that, at least in my mind, is typically not uh, some manufacturer that I think of when I think of fountain pens. Uh, this is a pen from Bic. This is the Bic Easy Click. It's an inexpensive fountain pen. It is not a pen that I believe is typically marketed in the U.S. I had to order this from overseas. It actually comes in this um, uh, blister pack uh, in a pack of two with two standard international cartridges. Um, just uh, one uh, uh, thing to understand, this pen is really cartridge only. Um, and I'll explain why in a minute because it has a very sort of very very unique way that the cartridges actually go into the pen Like I said it comes in a pack of two the one I got was blue and green um, They are pretty nice that it's basically dealing with three materials uh, Four materials here really you're dealing with like if you take the green one You're dealing with two different colors of green plastic a light one and a dark one you're dealing with the translucent green plastic on the cap and then you're dealing with a green rubberized material on the grip so um, multiple materials but they all complement each other and look pretty pretty uh, nice it's a pretty traditional sized pen maybe a tiny bit on the shorter side but um, as you can see here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. So not a particularly long pen, but again, fairly traditional styling, a little bit girthy, but nice. Um, we'll talk about the gripping of it in a minute. Very light pen, all plastic pretty much weighs in at only 12 grams. Um, so let's uh, go through the parts of the pen. It, uh, it's a pull to uncap pen and they call it an easy click, I guess, because it does make a clicking sound when you cap and uncap it. It does not post at all. I mean, you can't even like just like stick the cap on the end. It just doesn't even go on at all. So forget posting on this, which is really kind of a shame. Um, that's a big negative for me. Um, it does have the, the um, t uh, faceted section with rubberized grips here. So this is going to definitely enforce a tripod style grip. So this is definitely what you might call a school type uh, pen for sure in terms of the nib so it's a steel nib uh somewhat lami isk but not not lami compatible at all but somewhat lami shaped um it does have the bic logo quite prominently on the nib and this is a folded over nib so this is a way of making inexpensive fountain pen nibs where there's no tipping or tipping material it's simply the nib is simply crimped and bent over as part of the manufacturing process and that's your tip so there you go that's that's how uh, that works um, like I said it's got the rubberized gripping material here here it is in the hand again I think it's a little short if you'd be able to post it I think it would have been perfect but again no posting on this so um, again just probably really meant for kids etc but not only for kids it does have the BIC uh, logo on somewhat subtly on the between the um, between the little grip pads here on the uh, uh, upper top of the barrel and then it has this um, complementary colored plastic here and this is how you open it up so this is let's let's talk about how you how you would fill this you basically pull this part here and then this part pivots out a bit and then there's a there's a metal holder in here that will hold a short standard international cartridge so as you can see the way this works is the cartridge kind of clips into the into the pen like that you pivot it down and then you would push it in to engage the cartridge and so as you can see the way this is designed would really preclude the use of a converter so this is definitely cartridge uh, only so what I do of course is I take uh, my cartridge and I fill it with my ink of choice so with a syringe so that's how I get around that but yeah it is it is definitely definitely a cartridge only pen that is for sure um, like I said you get two to a package which is pretty nice um, and um, there you go so we're talking about a smallish size student type pen that does not post and again i'm surprised about the not posting thing so i think something made for kids you should really make a pen that posts because kids would be much more inclined to lose the cap than uh than adults would um so i think this was just a big design mistake i don't i mean you could have made this so it clicked on the back probably with it's a little bit of a little bit of re-engineering um again that's a little bit disappointing 
Um, because with a fountain pen like this, you lose the cap, you know, you, it's done. You might as well toss the pen. So, um, or maybe that was the idea behind it. Maybe Bix being uh, a little uh, a little clever. But uh, in any case, um, uh, in any case, that's uh, that's how uh, you know that's the story um, with that. So in terms of Bic, again, not a name that one associates with pens that you pay for. To me, Bic is a company I associate with pens like this, which is an old school Bic Click uh, ballpoint pen. To me, I associate Bic with pens you get for. Uh, for free. So um, again, m this is the first and so far only uh, fountain pen from Bic that I own. Okay, well, of course, as we always say, pens were meant to write, and of course you want to see how this pen writes, so I'm going to show you that right now. All right, what we're writing with here is a Bic. Easy click. And easy click, is, click is spelled that way, and this has a steel nib steel folded nib in medium and this was a bit on the little bit on the scratchy side so I spent about 30 seconds going over it with uh, and some emery uh, stick it not it's still not the the le it's still not the smoothest nib in the world but it is it is it is, it is okay for given the literally the type of nib and the technology behind it but it flows well Um, it, uh, I'd say it's about average wetness, um, and again, writes pretty nice considering, uh, what, um, this, uh, you know, uh, uh, pen, uh, is and the cost, etc. And like I said, if you're, uh, in the U.S., it's typically not something that I believe is retailed in the U.S. You'd have to go to a, um, overseas retailer to get it, but again, not, not the hardest thing in the world to get. Um, so that's about it for this Bic Easy Click uh, pen. Um, let's talk about this ink now for a minute, shall we? All right, this ink is got a very long name. This is Organic Studio. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Twilight Blue. So this is sort of a nice sort of deep sort of cerulean blue with um, some sheen to it. Let's compare it to some other inks like that. So here it is. This is the Ralph Waldo Emerson Twilight Blue. Here it is compared to Diamine Maureen, which has more deeper, bit of a deeper blue with some more shading. Here it is compared to Noodler's X Feather Blue. Here it is compared to Krishna Pakaza. And uh, here it is uh, compared to KWZ Azure Number 5. So again, we're basically talking about sort of a deep sort of cerulean blue with um, a bit of sheen to it. Uh, not as much sheen as in a lot of other uh, uh, organic studio inks, um, uh, you know, organic studio inks like nitrogen, for example, it's nothing like that, but it does have a little bit of a uh, bit of sheen to it. Um, let, speaking of sheen, and if we want to see that, let's take a, a, a quick uh, a look at what it looks like on Tomori River paper, shall we? Okay, like we said, this is organic studio. Twilight blue. And um, there you go. Now, be careful with this ink. I tried this ink in another pen uh, a while ago. I tried this ink in, uh, I believe, a Twisby VAC 700R, and it just wouldn't write. I mean, so I think there, this ink might not be the best behaved ink in terms of different types of pens, etc. So far, I've had no problem with this particular pen, but um, but like I said, I, I couldn't get it to write at all in my uh, Twisby pen. So there you go. Uh, anyway, um, w speaking of there you go, before I let you go, I would appreciate it if you guys could all please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would much, much appreciate it. And until we see each other again...
Have a great day. Bye-bye.